performing a lethal injection, it is essential that the needles be placed with absolute precision. And unlike standard medical procedures, with a lethal injection, you have a patient who probably does not want the procedure to occur. Therefore, it is of vital importance that the restraints be tight and strong. <laughs> Even with that, trouble may arise, and it may be incumbent upon the practitioner to take matters into his own hands, using whatever sharp-bladed objects he may have on his person. Lacerations to the body at strategic locations may put the patient into a state of shock, making him far more pliable, or at the very least, causing him to bleed to death, thus achieving the desired end. And who are we kidding? We're not really trying to be humane anyway. <laughs> Class dismissed. The Suffering, developed by Surreal Software and released by Midway for PlayStation 2, Xbox, and PC in 2004. Torque has been convicted of killing his wife and child and is sentenced to death at Abbott State Penitentiary on Carnate Island. After he's locked up, mysterious events start occurring and inmates and guards begin to get slaughtered. His cell door opens on its own and what he steps into is a nightmarish world worse than death itself. The Suffering is a third-person survival horror action game where the player must find weapons and items to proceed through the blood-soaked halls of Abbott State Penitentiary. You play as Torque, the man accused of killing his own wife and child. He must now survive the hallways of the penitentiary by fighting off horrifying creatures and its other deadly inhabitants, all while struggling with his own inner demons. Creature designs in the suffering were done by none other than Stan Winston Studios, and each creature depicts a form of execution, such as lethal injection and death by firing squad. Torque begins the game with just a shiv, but later on you can collect an arsenal of weapons, such as a revolver, tommy gun, and even flashbang grenades. Almost every standard firearm can also be dual wielded if you find another one. A very useful feature in The Suffering is the ability to switch from third person to first person. If you're finding it hard to aim at enemies in third person, pressing the square button, at least in the PlayStation 2 version, will revert to first person combat, making it easier to aim at enemy vital points. Healing in The Suffering is done by finding pill bottles called Zombium. You can carry up to nine of these pill bottles, and they can be used at any time during the game by pressing the circle button. Enemies in The Suffering are not stupid, and they will use any tactic necessary to take you down. They'll even run away from fire, light, and crawl along the ceilings in order to avoid you and sneak up on you. There are some enemies, like the mainliner, who have a special attack. The mainliners can jump on you and try to inject you with their needles. You have to shake the control stick around to knock them off, or else they'll drug you, making you see a little hazy for a bit. Torque also has another ability to turn into a gigantic monster. When his insanity meter, located down next to the health meter, gets full, press the triangle button and you'll turn into this monster. When you're transformed, you do crazy amounts of damage, killing almost every enemy in one hit. Be aware though, if you stay in insanity mode for too long, your health will begin to decrease, so pressing triangle at any time during this phase will revert back to normal mode. Also while in insanity mode, you earn experience, which is a bar on the right side of the screen. Every time the bar fills up, you'll learn a new ability for insanity mode so using insanity mode often is very recommended. The Suffering also has a good evil mechanic. There are some times throughout the game where you're presented with a choice to do something good or bad, such as when a guard shows up and asks for your assistance, you'll hear two voices in your head. One, a dark voice telling you to kill him or whatever else, and the other voice being of your wife, telling you to do the right thing. You'll always see the results of your actions, as your wife will come up either congratulating you or scolding you. This mechanic applies towards the end result of the game. The Suffering has three different endings depending on your actions throughout, whether you were mostly bad, mostly good, or neutral. You can always tell the results of your actions by looking at Torque's family photo in his inventory. If the photo is clean, you're doing good. If the photo is bloodied up, then you're headed down a dark path. The story of The Suffering is phenomenal and one of the best written stories in a video game. Also, the voice acting is very, very top notch and probably the best I have ever heard in games. The three main antagonists of The Suffering all are very, very deep and have dark backstories. There's Horus, a man sentenced to the electric chair, Hermes, a man obsessed with the gas chamber, and Dr. Killjoy, an instructor and physician at Abbott State Penitentiary who taunts Torque throughout the game. The graphics in The Suffering are also excellent. Each area is very highly detailed and the character models, especially those of the enemies, have lots of little details in them to make them stand out. This game is also very bloody, very violent, and very gory. And it also contains lots and lots of strong language. 
so be prepared if you're not into that kind of thing going into this. The Suffering is a fantastic video game experience, and I highly recommend it, no matter what console you pick it up on. The graphics are amazing, the design of the creatures is awe-inspiring, and the voice work and the story are very deep and very involving. The Suffering did spawn one sequel, but other than that we didn't get anything, which is really sad because The Suffering is a fantastic franchise that should have gone on further, and I would love to see where Tork goes next. By all means, pick this up. If you don't own it already, pick it up. It's worth it for any price, as it's one of the best horror video game experiences out there. Well guys, that's it for this episode of the 31 Games of Halloween. Please leave a like and a comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't already, and please share with your friends. Thank you guys so much again for joining me on this episode, and I will see you tomorrow for day 26. Have a good night. What I heard, he's all right. That cocksucker's not going to be all right for long if he's in the row with the rest of us short-timers. Shut your cracker ass, Goose. Man's do respect.